everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my loyal viewers, my subscribers, thank you so much. Your support means the world to me. If you are new to my channel, I hope you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Be part of our little YouTube family. It would, it's just such a special, loving community and it just, it just, it's so much fun to be part of it. So anyway, today I am going to be doing another memory plan with me in my Erin Condren, my horizontal planner. I am going to be using uh, this kit uh, that I got from my monthly subscription from So Cute Planner. It's another beach themed week, so just another relax, you're on the beach kit. So it's just another fun kit that I'm going to be using. I have got my trusty coffee in hand and I'm ready to go and start laying some stickers. So I hope that you join me. I hope that you give this video a thumbs up and I would love to hear your comments at the end. Alrighty, talk to you soon everybody. Bye-bye. Alrighty, so I am back with the finished spread and again this is a memory plan with me and it is from Monday August 3rd through Sunday August 9th and I just want to kind of keep track of the weather and my electrical steps and my Fitbit steps and just kind of keep it motivated, keep it fun, keep it exciting and yet I want to look back on this later on and just kind of look at the pictures and just tell a story and remember different things about my past and just uh, just things that touch me. So anyway, um, Monday. So uh, of course every Monday you just kind of need that extra cup of coffee some days to get started. So I've got that sticker that says, but first coffee. Um, my biggest vendor that I work with had got a new software system. They had actually closed um, early on Friday and worked through the weekend to get it implemented. So it was day one of using the new software system, the new portal, parts entering system, and inventory, and it really worked better than I thought it would. So I was pleasantly surprised. After work, I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and I got my iced caramel swirl coffee with extra cream, extra sugar. Just love that, and uh, yeah, it's... it's it's just too good. And then I also worked on YouTube for about four hours after I came home. That picture right here is of Matty Matt. Um, he's uh, standing on, I'm sure he's standing on his dad's hand, uh, Jeremy's hands. And you know how when you were little you could stand on your dad's hands in the water and then he could kind of toss you up in the air and do, you, do a flip. So I'm pretty sure that's what they were doing. So probably uh, if someone had taken a picture of a mid flip that would have been cool. Maybe they can do it again for me next year. Um, so anyway, that's an, that's an older picture there, by the way. So anyway, on to Tuesday. So I had got some maxi dresses with some nice duster coats that go with them um, from QVC a few weeks uh, before. Uh, actually, they probably had just come in the week before. And they also had some matching masks that went with them. And I didn't get the mask at first. And then I was just kept thinking about it. And then it's like, yeah, I want the mask. So I had gone on QVC and I had ordered those face facial mask and then I worked on YouTube for about four hours when I came home and that picture right here is of Sabrina years ago when we were camping at Sandy Neck Beach and uh, she went through this phase of calling all these a uh, little uh, tidal pools as the uh, the tide went out and some water that was uh, trapped there she called it the dreaded shallow pool and that's where like maybe, maybe little baby crabs would be or the razor clams and things like that so she always called it the dreaded shallow pool. And on to Wednesday. So Wednesday we had a meeting. I hate meetings. I really hate meetings, but I know they're a necessary evil in the business world sometimes. So after the meeting, um, things went okay. And when I came home, I changed out my Scentsy Wax. And I love the Lilacs and Violet fragrance one. And I'm not really sure what Violet smell like, but I love Lilacs. And this wax is a, one of the stronger scents for me and it lasts sometimes over a week in that great room where it's just so open. And it's just like you're just walking in through the most beautiful, gorgeous lilac bushes that you can imagine. And I do have a couple of lilac bushes and I cut them every year and I bring some, some of them in. I even take some into work. And it's like the next day all the uh, petals, the little lilac things are off and they just really make a mess. But with my Scentsy Wax, I can get the smell of the lilacs, but it doesn't leave a mess. 
it was also trashed and recycling day so i wanted to get that out and um in july wine haven had had an awesome online sale with their wine and they continued it an even better one into august so i wanted to take advantage of it and i ordered some more of the chocolate port and the chocolate uh, zombie wine it was it's really really good um and then um my, my neighbor Tim and Becca, they have been really, really nice to me and helping me. And so I wanted to get them some kind of special. I know they're kind of going crazy with, you know, the online learning, the distance learning and just things like that. So I got them a bouquet of cookies to give the kids more energy. Yeah, so that was fun. And I think some it was like a summer themed cookie from Cookie Bouquet with the pink flamingos and some flip flops and things. So it was a really cute bouquet. That picture right here, that is a Aiden a couple of years ago. Sabrina and Mike took the jelly beans down to a hotel down the Cape and uh, they stayed at a place with a water park and uh, the kids brought the little tubes and got to have some fun in the water. And on to Thursday. So Thursday I had uh, uploaded my villa my Villa Beautiful, that's another planner subscription kit that I get and they just really have some really, really nice things. We had uh, pizza at work for lunch and then of course we had some cocktails after work. And that picture right here is actually of Tori Pie and she's in her little float. So that's just a really cute picture. And here I wrote Sudsies, but it was uh, really was Hooties that had come in my happy mail. So I had got, uh, she had a site-wide sale. So I had got some nice items from Hootie Suds and Bubbles and that had come in. And anyway, on to Friday. So we have my Friday girl. Um, let's see, I got this pink flamingo. We had the uh, the chocolate wine had come in because I, I have things delivered to work. So we actually had some and it was better than, than we really thought it was going to be. So it was kind of sweet. So a couple of us had a couple of, um, you know, a little bit of a sip here and there. And then the guys went on to drinking whatever they wanted to drink. And Jen and I were saying, you know, this is really sweet, but you know, we'll just finish this and then we'll switch to something else. And the next thing we knew, Jen and I had finished off the bottle of wine. It was so good. So we had a fun with that. And um, I also wanted to clean out a space in my garage when I came home from work. And then um, my neighbors uh, on the other side of me, they were having a graduation party for their son on Saturday. So we cleared out a space and they brought in some items from their garage so they could have some more space for their party. I also stopped at Duncan's on the way home and got another iced coffee. And I kind of sat and did a Netflix and chill. It was a chick movie night. And I actually watched a movie called um, The Road Less Traveled with Lauren Elena. I had heard the name, but I didn't really know who she was or her music or anything. But she had done this movie and it was some nice country music in it. And just it was just a nice little fun chick flick. So I watched that. And then I watched Nights in Rodent. I loved that movie with Richard Gere and Diane Lane. And I also worked on YouTube for about six hours. And I also um, may have accidentally ordered a pizza or two for, um, you know, for the two for the $5.99 special from Domino's. So anyway, on to the weekend. So I um, actually had filmed a plan with me. Uh, Nick's, uh, my neighbor, had his graduation party. I was going to go over and then I just kept thinking about it. It was going to be like an open party and... I don't know it was still like right in the middle of all the COVID things so you know I went over early and got them a gift and you know gave them his gift and um you know just said you know that I was going to be working or whatever but I really didn't go to work and but then I, I offered them like the use of my driveway in case they had some overflow so you know the other neighbors wouldn't complain but anyway I'm glad that I didn't go the party lasted all day and I'm so glad it went nice for him but nobody was wearing masks over there and I just really would have felt uncomfortable so I'm I'm glad I didn't go um, HSN, I actually ordered a pair of joggers. That was actually my first pair of joggers that I actually decided to buy. And it was kind of like the dressier material and it's got some like ties at the bottom so you can kind of adjust the length. And I got it with like an animal print top. So I thought that was kind of cute. So I got that. I also um, filmed the hoodies, the uh, specials that I had got in. I actually went to the Dollar Tree store that day. Um, I went to Duncan's and got some more iced coffee. I worked on YouTube for about 10 hours and I was happy. I started the day, I think about 6.30, I could hear some kind of noise out in the yard and I thought, 
huh, what's going on? And actually it was the uh, True Green uh, company had come and they were spraying for mosquitoes, which was really good because they did um, all, all three yards again. Um, so mine and Tim and Becca on the other side of me and then um, Carrie and John on the other side where the graduation party was. So I'm pretty sure it was pretty mosquito free for them. And that's a picture years ago um, when we went to Sandy Neck Beach. And um, actually, I think this was probably the weekend Sabrina and Mike got married. But uh, we went to the beach one day with Raina and um, Maddie Matt wasn't born yet. So it was Jeffrey and Jeremy. And there's a picture of uh, Jeffrey just kind of playing in the sand. And Rick's getting ready to go fishing. And look, he's got both legs there. So that was a happy time that uh, things seemed to be back to normal and on to Sunday so I actually uploaded the plan with me I edited the uh, Dollar Tree uh, upload I worked on YouTube for about 10 hours and my mailbox was blocked on Saturday from the party and stuff so I went out and got my mail and I was so excited I had quite a few items that came in so I had um, uh, so a couple of kits that I had ordered from Chick Blossom, which I don't think I've shown anybody yet, but the, it's really some nice summer kits that I got from her. I had an order in from QVC and some sticky essentials, another, some more items for my planner. And that is actually Raina at Sandy Neck Beach, and she's just kind of walking through the dreaded shallow pool and just kind of kicking the waves and actually um that weekend that uh, Sabrina and Raina's picture was taken our neighbors uh, had come with us for the day so it was uh, Ernie and Judy and she is an awesome awesome photographer um she had just kind of started on on her own and um you know she just really took off with her career and she does a lot of the weddings like at Newport um with you know the multi-million dollar mansions and the most gorgeous weddings you've ever seen so she's really come a long way but she had come with us and took some pictures that time so that was really fun and anyway on to my bottom my motivational part so I've got this uh, picture that I took right here and it just says take a deep breath and let it go because sometimes that's what you have to do in this world you just get so frustrated or you're overwhelmed or you're sad or hurt or angry and sometimes that's the only thing that you really need to do the only thing you can do is just kind of take in a deep breath and let it all out uh, for my weight so I started the week at 116.1 I finished the week at 115.6 for the elliptical, I had pedaled for 73,660 steps for 21.32 hours. I did 29.44 miles, and my Fitbit steps were 40,856. So, um, anyway, that is how this week worked out. So, I want to thank everyone for joining me this week. I appreciate your support more than you'll ever know. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you subscribe, but more important than that, I hope everybody goes out and just has the best week they can. Just enjoy every second that you can, smile when you can, and when you can't, take a deep breath and let it go. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.